Man, when I got to the fishing spot today, I could not believe that I was the only one here on a Sunday afternoon with such nice weather. But anyway, I'm not complaining. That's actually pretty sweet considering this pond is not very big. But today I'm gonna be doing like a, kind of like a fish off or challenge of sorts. I have two identical baits here. One from Straight King and one from Bass Pro Shops. Now these are both finesse worms. I'm gonna be throwing these on a shaky head. These baits are both the same color. They're both six and a half inches. And honestly, if one fish is gonna hit one of these, they're gonna hit either of them. But let me take them out of the package and show you guys up close. So first off, we have the Bass Pro Shops finesse worm. They call this color red bug. But as you guys can tell, just a red finesse worm. This one has some like teal flake in it. And that was the Bass Pro Shops. The Straight King ones, also finesse worm. They are actually basically identical, except for having like that teal glitter. This worm has like a blue glitter in it. But honestly, I don't think a bass is gonna look at this blue glitter and be like, man, I wish that was teal and I would have eaten it. But, but I don't have a lot of time this evening and I figured why not just throw the finesse worm. It's been 30 degrees out at night recently so that's really lowered the water temp. A shaky head is one of my favorite fall time baits so I should hook into some bass, some pickerel this evening. All right, so the shaky head I'm using today is gonna be a quarter ounce and I'm not gonna be fishing really thick weeds. I'm actually gonna be fishing a little bit of lily pads along the edge because typically that's where I found the fish like to hide in this pond. I have the shaky head tied to 20 pound fluorocarbon on a medium heavy rod with a Shimano SLX DC and I think I'm gonna start off with the KVD Perfect Plastics. Now the KVD Perfect Plastics was slightly more expensive than the Bass Pro version. The Bass Pro bag of worms were, I believe, $4.49. These were $5.49 and they only come with 12. This is a dollar cheaper and they come with 16. So unless something catastrophic happens, honestly, I would just go with the Bass Pro ones, but I haven't even started fishing with these yet, so I really don't know what I'm talking about. But I am gonna be starting off with the KVD Perfect Plastics, the finesse worm. I don't know if I said this before but the color is in blue fleck and then I actually am gonna hide the hook point completely inside the bait because it's a pretty thin worm so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some good hook penetration anyway and another reason why I'm using the worm is because when I use this and throw it into weeds and the lily pads I want it to drop straight down and I think this slim worm profile is gonna slip in between the lily pads pretty well but enough talking, I need to start fishing. So to kind of make it even, what I'm gonna be doing is using these baits for half an hour at a time. I'm gonna be starting off with the KVD Perfect Plastics for half an hour, then switching over to the Bass Pro, use those for half an hour, and switch back to the KVD. So it's 5 p.m. right now. So I'm gonna fish until 5.30. Now visibility at this pond is about six inches at this first half. The back half of this pond actually is way more clear because the back half of this pond is attached to the river. So that actually is pretty clear. So using a finesse worm in this dirty of water might not be the best idea, but. I'm not gonna mess around too much at this first pond. I usually do pretty better at the second half because the second half is more clear, it's more deep, there's more snags there. First half of this pond is shallow, muddy, and really only weed cover. All right, let's see if we can make it to the other side in one go here. Oh, we're making it, we're making it.
Oh, that's awesome. But as you guys can tell in front of me, there's just a line of lily pads around the outside edge. And I'm just going to be flipping my shaky head into those lily pads like that and letting it sink to the bottom. And I, like I said before, I really think that slender profile is going to help me punch through these lily pads. Lily pads aren't the thickest as well either. They're starting to die, so I also can get away with a quarter ounce weight. Typically, I wouldn't suggest using a quarter ounce weight if you're flipping something, but... There's one. Okay, there was one. Oh, there's a bite. Nice bass. Get up here. Yes. Nice, nice, nice bass. All I did was felt a little tick and he was on it. Oh man, solid pound and a half right here. What a beautiful looking bass. So first bass today, not a bad one either on the KVD Perfect Plastic Finesse Worm. But man, that's cool, let's put them back. But that's what I caught it on, on the Finesse Worm. It is 525, so I got five minutes left using the Strike King, and then I'm gonna be using the Bass Pro Finesse Worm for about half an hour. All right, so it is 528 right now. So that's close enough to 5.30, so I'm going to be switching over to the Bass Pro ones now. And again, I'm going to put the hook into the worm, make it as weedless as I can. Got one. Oh no. There's one. Oh, nice bass. Nice bass. Get down, get your head down. Oh, he tried jumping, and he did. Got him, yes. There we go, second bass today. What a nice fish. All right, second bass this evening. This one came on the Bass Pro Finesse Worm. Definitely longer than the first bass I caught today, but not nearly as heavy. This one's kind of skinny. Put this girl back. Ooh, water's chilly. Okay, so it is 5.53 right now, seven minutes until I have to switch 
back to the Strike King. All right, so it's 5.58 right now. It's close enough to six o'clock. Let's switch back over to the Strike King. Well, unfortunately, about 30 seconds after my GoPro died, and before I could put a battery in, I got snagged up on that cast on a literal tree and I pulled that up to the surface and it popped off and it took my hook point with me. The hook point completely just snapped off of this bait. But anyway, not a huge deal. I brought a backup shaky head with me, also a quarter of an ounce. It's still only 6.15 so I got 15 minutes left with the Strike King Worm. And I'm going to rig it the same way I have been, just making sure the hook is completely inside the bait here. There's one. Didn't even think he had it. Come here. Did not even know I had him. Smallest fish of the day, but man, these fish are cold. That one's only about half a pound, maybe even like a quarter of a pound. But on the uh, Strike King Finesse Worm, oh shoot, it is 6.30. I gotta switch over now. But as you guys can tell, the Strike King is on top, Bass Pro is on bottom. Like I said, I really don't think it matters. I've caught two so far on the Strike King and one on the Bass Pro. There's one. I can't, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It strikes today. Let's go. What a nice bass. <laughs> I was just about to switch up spots too. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I came to this pond right here. Man, oh man. What a nice bass. This one is all at two pounds. Put up a heck of a fight, but look at the pattern on all these largemouth too. See at the top of the bass, there's like that gold. Man, these bass look so cool. Let's go. But I have about maybe half an hour left of daylight, so I'm gonna fish this shoreline, which is gonna take me about 10 more minutes. And then I'm gonna actually switch back to the first half of this pond and fish that really dirty water. Where I live in New Hampshire, the past couple nights, it's been in the 30s. So that's really pushed down the water temp. So I really like to use somewhat finesse baits when that water starts dropping in the fall. And a shaky head trick worm is actually a great kind of finesse approach for largemouth and smallmouth. The only difference is one has blue fleck, one has teal fleck. But I had some fun tonight and I didn't really know what to expect. Honestly, since it was Sunday evening with really nice weather, uh, I thought there was going to be a lot of other people fishing this pond, and this pond is not very big. So I was a little bit worried there, but turns out I was the only one here today. But I need to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace. Ooh.